What's good gamers, welcome back to Amino Acid Mondays. We'll be discussing leucine and isoleucine. So let's start with leucine. So leucine is gonna be the first non-polar um, branch chain amino acid that we'll be discussing, in this series at least. So I will draw the structure out for you. So as you can see, it's quite a chunky boy. It's a very long uh, amino acid there, a side chain at least. Okay, so um, this group here is called an isobutyl group. As you can probably imagine, it's got four carbons, so hence butyl. Um, and its IUPAC name for a leucine, that is, is 2-amino-4-methyl-pentanoic acid. Why is this? So if we treat um, the, the first carbon there, second one, third one, fourth one, and fifth one, on the second carbon, we've got an amino group, and on the fifth carbon, we've got a methyl group. So leucine is also an essential amino acid, so it has to be intake and as part of the diet. And um, leucine metabolism is quite important in the body. Um, this is because one of its byproducts, um, or not byproducts, one of its products uh, produced via leucine metabolism is a coenzyme called acetyl-CoA, which is very important in the citric acid cycle, or if you're a peasant, the Krebs cycle. Okay, so let's talk about um, isoleucine. Isoleucine is, as the name suggests, an isomer of leucine. So it's very similar to leucine structure. Um, let's draw it out here. So we've got this one here. So essentially one of the methyl groups is changed or one of the, the carbons is changed around. And as an iceberg, as you, you already know probably, is just a different arrangement of, of atoms in, 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 in space basically. So that's the structure here. That's the side chain. Um, I've already talked a lot about leucine and isoleucine has many of the same properties. So it's, it's quite easy to remember. They're, they're quite similar. Um, and what I will say though is something called insulin resistance. So this kind of goes for a lot of um, branch chain amino acids, um, but basically high levels of isoleucine, leucine, any kind of branch chain really are linked to diabetes. So if you want to read a bit more on that, I'll put a link in the description about it. Um, so that's that.